Being a huge Metal Gear fan, I was moved when I saw the new Metal Gear trailer at Sony Showcase. It looked amazing. I was thrilled, excited and over the moon for the reveal. But soon afterwards, something began to slowly sink in with me, which I believe may have happened to a lot of more people out there. A Metal Gear game without Kojima. Will Konami be able to make it right on their own and will it deliver the same experience? Recently, IGN posted an interview where they spoke with the game developers at Konami and asked straight out whether Hideo Kojima or Yoji Shinkawa, the man behind the art of Metal Gear, had any involvement in the project. To this, the response was, no. A Konami spokesperson said, they are not involved, however, the development team will work hard to create this remake and also the ports so that they can be enjoyed on multiple platforms by even more players all around the world. The remake is being made by those who were involved in the production of the past Metal Gear series plus another company called Virtuous, which has worked on games like Dark Souls Remastered and Uncharted 4. Here's the question then. How confident is Konami in making a new Metal Gear game without Kojima after the very public fallout they had? Let's delve a bit deep into the topic. Hideo Kojima and Konami had a falling out during the production of Metal Gear Solid 5. I'm not going to go into the details, I'm just going to summarize this fallout. The main reason was that Konami and Kojima had different visions for the future, and this started back in 2010. Kojima wanted to focus on AAA game titles which required years of development and cost large sums of money. Konami on the other hand wanted to focus on mobile games which were cheap to make and took less time to develop. But because Kojima had been working at Konami since 1986 and was a huge asset to the company, he was left to do whatever he wanted. In fact, he was asked to make the next Silent Hill game for which we got the PT demo in August of 2014. However, the actual fallout started when the corporate restructuring took place in March of 2015, after which the Kojima Productions logo started to disappear from MGS Games and the PT demo was removed from the PlayStation Store in April 2015, leading to the cancellation of the new Silent Hills game. There was a lot of other stuff that happened in between, but if I had to cover it, I'll probably have to make another video on it. As you noticed, uh, Hideo Kojima is not here with us uh, tonight, and I want to tell you a little bit about that. Uh, Mr. Kojima had every intention of uh, being with us tonight, uh, but unfortunately he was uh, informed by a lawyer representing Konami uh, just recently that uh, he would uh, not be allowed to uh, travel to uh, tonight's awards ceremony to uh, accept um, any awards. On December 15th, 2015, Kojima officially left Konami. And because of everything Konami did to Kojima and their own fan base, the company that created some of the most beloved franchises in gaming got shunned by those who used to play their games. Kojima later on went to create his own studio, Kojima Productions. After this huge fallout, it is very unlikely that Konami and Kojima will ever work together again. But Konami knows a Metal Gear game without Kojima will not be a Metal Gear game. The Metal Gear series was Kojima's brainchild. He wrote, produced, and directed those games. He had a vision for the series, and his trademarks were everywhere. And now, another interview reports that Konami will be using the same voice work from the original Metal Gear Solid 3 game from 2004. To me, this just shows that Konami is looking to save money and is not even trying to put in the extra effort to make this remake a refreshing experience. 
No new voice work means that probably nothing new is going to be added to the game, unless it is something that doesn't require voice work at all. I've read online a couple of places where people are okay with this decision, while others are furious. And they're calling out Konami for saving money and not willing to put in the extra effort to pay the voice actors and give us players a new and refreshing experience. For me, this is a huge blow as an MGS fan. If I were to ever play it, I will always have it on the back of my mind that this voice work is from the early 2000s. Without Kojima and no new voice work, let's say Konami makes an amazing remake with everything as an exact replica of the original game. One of two things can happen. Fans buy the game and are happy with the product. Konami makes lots of money and realize that they don't need Kojima at all and can get away using old assets like original voice work. Or fans react and they don't like the finished product. Konami faces a huge financial loss which impacts all their upcoming MGS remake projects and forces the company to rethink their model. This brings me back to my original question. How certain is Konami that they will be able to deliver the perfect Metal Gear experience without Kojima involved? Konami tried once with Metal Gear Survive, and it didn't do well. At all. Yes, it was filled with microtransactions and released after Konami and Kojima went their separate ways, the fan backlash was huge, but can Konami let this happen again? And if it does, will the company ever recover from it? Let me be frank. We haven't seen any gameplay footage yet. We don't know how the old voice work will sound with the new game. We don't know if there's going to be any new content or if any content is going to be cut for modern audiences. And until we know, we can't really make a decision. But fans will question Konami on the choices they make like using old voice work. Because MGS fans are true fans of the series and Konami is aware of this. The company will be keeping a very close eye on the response and reactions from the fan base when they release their first gameplay trailer. I can tell you this, MGS fans will dissect everything and will make their voices heard from how the game looks to the voice work and whether they can trust Konami to make an MGS game without Kojima. If the reaction is positive, Konami will know that they're on the right track with modern audiences on board. But if the reaction is going to be negative, Konami is going to be in a huge fix. They'll have to accept that MGS without Kojima is like a plant without water. Then how will Konami be able to fix it? Only one solution comes to my mind. Make it up to Kojima, patch things up and hand over any current or future MGS projects to Kojima Productions. That way, fans will be fully on board knowing that they can trust all future MGS games to deliver the ultimate experience that they're accustomed to. This will be a win-win situation for Konami and fans of MGS and even Kojima who will get to work on his brainchild once more. If Konami were to do this, not only will they be redeemed in the eyes of the public, they would have done the right thing by handing over one of the most beloved franchises of all time to the person who actually knows how to handle it, Hideo Kojima. But will they? Doesn't seem likely. Guess we will find out more once a complete gameplay trailer with voice work is revealed. And when it does, there's going to be a lot of fan cry. So, what's your take on all of this? Do you think Konami will deliver the definitive Metal Gear experience without Kojima? Or do you think Kojima is essential for any MGS game? How do you feel about the original voice work being used for a new remake? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to support this data for. Thanks for watching.